cataractcoach.com. Cataract quiz, what is this material? You see some whitish material when you're about to start FACO. What is it? What should you do? Watch carefully. Now we sped the video up, starting off with a Rexus here, poking into the lens capsule. Oh, look, a little bit of wrinkling, zyno laxity, loose support there. Okay. Now at that paracentesis on the left side of the screen there, there's that whitish stuff. What is that whitish stuff? So you're getting the Rexus done. It looks okay. Maybe a little loose, but not too bad. But able to complete a nice, normal Rexus. That looks pretty good. So what do you make of that whitish stuff there? And why is it white? Hmm. You got to think about it. This is a quiz. I can't give you the answer yet. You got to think about it. What could that possibly be? You didn't put any medicine in the eye. This was there before you started the case. There was some whitish stuff there before starting the case. So, okay, watch hydro dissection. There's that whitish stuff again. See it? Right there. That's it. At the left side of the screen, right near the paracentesis. That whitish stuff at the 8 o'clock position in your view right now. That. What is, what is that? What is that? Is that something like mucus or something? Did someone, like, sneak some triamcin on the eye? Have you figured it out just yet? I kind of don't want to give you the answer. If you haven't figured it out yet, you got to keep watching. So some higher dissection. Okay, you can proceed with nucleus removal. That's asteroid hyalosis. There's your answer. That's the answer. Patient happened to have asteroid hyalosis, has this traumatic cataract, has traumatic xylem loss, and there's a gap there in the xylem support, and some of the vitreous prolapse forward, and because the patient has asteroid hyalosis, you see the vitreous. It has the white opacification or calcifications within the vitreous. So that is vitreous in the anterior chamber coming around the lens equator. So here, what are we going to do? Chop up the nucleus. I do like this ch technique where the nucleus is out of the bag now. You know you've got zyanol compromise, at least in that quadrant. So to bring the nucleus up like this out of the bag, it's going to place less stress on the bag. You can also tilt your instrument and operate away from that vitreous. You don't want to pull on that vitreous with your phaco probe. You don't need vitreous traction. Hey, did I tell you about cataractcoach.com? You better check it out because you need to know how to use appropriate settings. In this case, you're going to have to do a vitrectomy. And you got to leave YouTube. You got to go to cataractcoach.com. You got to figure out the settings now, how to do a vitrectomy. I can't do all your homework for you. You've got to put in a little bit of effort. So now cleaning up. There we go. Injecting viscoelastic. That's a smart move for sure. For sure, for sure. So inject more viscoelastic. Viscoelastic is cheaper than vitreous, even though here we already got some vitreous. So now how are you going to clean this case up? All right. There we go. Making another pair of indices here. Let's get out that last nuclear piece. Here you can use the viscoelastic as a buffer to kind of keep that vitreous away. Now you see some of the vitreous already prolapsing through that paracentesis. So let's clean it up. Here you go, 25 gauge of vitrectomy set up. Now going in here, you may even want to make another paracentesis opposite the one, or let's say, let's say the patient's you know, 90 degrees away, like say the patient's nasal, just so you can avoid the vitreous that's already prolapsed. But you can certainly do it this way too. Cleaning it up very nicely. Now, what settings would you want here? Let's think about it. Well, you're doing a vitrectomy. So you want anti-vitrectomy, position one infusion, two cutter, three aspiration, high cut rate. Now, look at this, super smart, using the, the bimanual setup two now to do cortex removal. Now, how do you use a vitrector to do cortex removal without engaging the cutting aspect? Well, on your machine, just hit cortex removal, IA mode, and the machine won't allow you to engage the cutter. Now here, putting in a CTR, going in the bag, nice and easy. Deliver that around, around, around. That CTR is going to help a big time. Now let's see what we got here for the lens. Single piece acrylic lens going in the bag. That looks pretty good. I like that. And then just making sure there's no more prolapse vitreous. So yeah, that's the answer to the quiz. That whitish stuff was vitreous. But with asteroid hyalosis, that's why it had the white opacifications or calcifications within it. Here at the end of the case, suturing up the incision, always a good idea in a complicated case here. Why? Well, if the patient rubs his or her eye in the post op period and flattens the anterior chamber, well, what's going to come? You're going to get vitreous coming around again. So to avoid any flattening of the anterior chamber, a suture, probably a good idea. So look at that here at the end, another cleanup, making sure there's no prolapse vitreous. And in this case, it's easy to see because, again, it has asteroid hyalosis. Nice little cleanup here. Remember, 
This page is going to have a beautiful outcome because you learned from the cataract quiz. And guess what? Tomorrow, I got another quiz for you. Someone told me cataract coach fans happen to love the cataract quizzes. So we got another one for you. Remember to check out cataractcoach.com, the website for those vitrectomy settings. Also, remember, I got a new podcast every single week. You have to check it out. It is absolutely amazing. I give you all the secret stuff, Amalji.